Isn't it odd? Just when you stop looking, you come across the most curious of things. Like these three devices that one of my merchants brought back from Baghdad. <laughs> oh no, is it another one of your Banu Musa toys, Rashid? They're not toys, Adriel. They're objects of scholarly ingenuity and reflection. I will let my valued friend from the north do the honors. Jack, if you may. <laughs> For one, let me draw your attention to the magnificent songbird on the table. And then, to that wondrous donkey next to the entrance. Although, the most astounding thing of all stands right between them. That statuette? Ha-ha, <laughs> precisely. But, one thing at a time, um, on second thought, why don't you save the lady for last? Otherwise, the other two devices might appear bland and boring in comparison. I agree. Let us let Jack decide what to demonstrate first. likes to take his time, doesn't he? No, it's too heavy. What is he doing now? Not much, I suppose. And now? Now, Jack will heat the water in the tank. It's so beautiful it will make you cry. Just listen. How marvelous! How does it work? Maybe it's a miracle. <laughs> right. Go on, Jack. Tell them. There's a hidden wheel inside the box. It turns an axle that in return raises and drops a sequence of small cylinders inside. These cylinders work like fingers playing a flute. But who is blowing into the flute? Steam. Steam? Yes. When I opened the pipe, it gradually pushed itself into the tube. The power of steam. For once, I must agree, this is brilliant. Of course! It was created by a Muslim after all. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What else have you got, Rashid? Anyone care for some tea? Thank you, my daughter. 
We will have some as soon as Jack has finished our presentation. Mind if I watch? Of course not. So, who is this man, Rashid? Jack is a friend of the house. A brilliant man, a scholar and a talented Don't let me distract artist. you, Jack. Just the other day, he explained Euclid to me. What is that? A Greek who wrote a book called The Elements of Geometry. The Egyptians translated it into Arabic, and now the Englishmen are turning it into Latin. How very peculiar. I could watch this man scoop up water all day. Now, watch the head. Just any moment now. There. Did you see? It threw up. Rashid, this is disgusting. Oh, far from it. Would you kindly explain how it works, Jack? You see that bowl floating on top of the water? At the bottom of that bowl is a small hole. Through it, the bowl is slowly filled with liquid. Once it's full, it sinks, pulling a string which makes the ball drop onto a weight. This, in return, pulls the bowl up again, emptying it in the process. Thus resetting the entire mechanism. If you timed it perfectly, you could make it drop a ball at every hour. Turning it into a clock. How clever. For me, it's still nothing more than a puking donkey. <laughs> Show us more, Rashid. One could join those two and build a singing donkey clock. One song after every hour. That would be pretty clever. I know, right? You could be the one to build it. Oh, that would be unfair. It's your invention. I would let you have it. Or we design it together. <clears throat> you still haven't shown us that statuette yet. Of course. Jack, if you may. And now? Just be patient, but don't look away. It takes some time for her to... To do what? Hmm? Is it crying? Isn't that amazing? No, it's irritating. Rashid, what is going on? We have no idea how it works. Rashid, please. We all know that there is no such thing as a man-made miracle. And this piece of wood is very clearly made by man. I very much agree, my friends. But so far, none of us has an explanation. All we know for certain is that her glassy eyes shed tears when you move her from warmth into cold. Like a plant at sunrise. Like dew. 
The only difference is the surface. That's all. I think you may be on to something. Am I? Of course, I had no intention of disturbing your conversation. But if you can find out why there's dew gathering on a plant, you may understand why that woman is so weepy. <laughs> so, who wants a cup of tea? I'll have some. Your daughter is quite something, Rashi. A scholar in her own right. I know. I'd rather she wasn't. It would make marrying her off so much easier. Oh, I'm certain that won't stay a problem for long. Maybe the dew originates from invisible water in the air. Water that stays hidden when it's hot. <laughs> 